Come on, Frank. Come back to me. Come on. Oh, God, I should have seen it all along. Your, your strength, your kindness, the feeling of safety I have when I'm with you. Come on, damn it. Come on. Oh, I fell in love with the Avatar because I fell in love with you, Frank. Come on, it was you all along, Frank. Come on. Come on, breathe, damn it. Breathe. Flying there so, so still and quiet. Well, I guess it's all over now. At least the Avatar's dead. Yeah, well, I hope he burns in hell. Well, I think the most important thing is that it's all over. Hey, Ellie. Do you really believe it? Yeah, I don't. I really don't think that anybody could have survived a fire like that. No, no, no. Hard. No, I, I'm talking about what you, what you said about your, your heart being connected to your soul. I believe what you do comes back to you. Are you okay? Um, I'm shaking. Are you cold? Come here, sit down. Uh, are you okay? I am not okay, Allie. Far from it. You and I need to have a talk. Could it wait? We've really, we've all been through a lot. No, it, it can't wait. Okay, it sounds serious. It is. I've kept quiet until now because I know how much Libby wants this marriage to work. You're her father and, and you have a right to be worried about her. Humor me. I know how much Libby loves you. She almost died trying to save you from this fire. I know, I'm grateful for that. Is that what you feel for her? Gratitude? She's my wife. She's carrying my child. But what are you Thank doing you. for her, Rafe? I need to know if my daughter's risking everything for nothing. Now, if you can't tell Libby the truth, I'm giving you the chance to tell me the truth. Do you love my daughter? Hey, Karen. You know, I'm getting really sick of this machine. I might just chuck it out the window next time I see you. Anyway, uh, in case you haven't noticed, you're uh, kind of late for our date, which is kind of freaking me out because you're like the queen of on time. Anyway, I just heard that uh, Lancelot got burned up in a fire. I hope you're not too upset about it. <sighs> I'm worried about you, Karen. I can't wait to see you, which has been happening a lot lately. Where are you, Karen? I can't believe you knew I was the Avatar. I would know you anywhere, Frank. And you risk your life to save me for me once but I have so many questions about what happened to you like how did you come to have these powers or, or whatever they are I wanted to tell you so many times <laughs> you figured it out already I guess it just proves how strong it is what's still between us how did it start Frank after you left me I threw myself into work to try to forget, I was finishing a, a late shift one night at the hospital, heading to the lockers. I got this feeling I wasn't alone. And I, I turned and I caught just 
the faintest glimpse of this shadow on the wall coming right at me. And then suddenly there was this shrouded figure standing in front of me. And then he spoke to me. Are you a just man? And it was as if it read my mind, my heart. Yes. I am justice, the avenger of all those who suffer. What do you want with me? Will you become one with me? Fight my fight. I will. And then it seemed to move right through me. I felt this amazing jolt of strength. So the Avatar gave you his powers? He gave me a great gift, Karen. And you weren't afraid to, to go out there in the streets risking your life? He gave me back my life. It was like I had been searching for something that was just beyond my reach. And now you've found your purpose. Ever since that day, I have been charged with this incredible mission. I know what I'm supposed to do. And since you saved me, I can do more, Karen. I can do so much more.